So let's see. Um, we do have the Two of Swords. In this deck, it's about um, refusing to see something. My take on it, on the Two of Swords, is a lot of contemplation, a lot of thinking. And um, we do it because we don't have the whole uh, picture, right? So we think about it. And uh, sometimes we fall into the trap of uh, making scenarios in our head. But mainly it's um, living life through the brains, right? We want to understand, we want to know, we want to see. And we also have the Five of Swords. It might have been a conflict with somebody. And now we are a little bit in our head trying to understand what happened, why in the world happened, what am I supposed to understand, and also heal from this. Two of Swords, Six of Swords, both your energy, that's interesting. Two of Swords, Five of Swords, Two of Swords, Six of Swords. Cool, quite interesting. So this is your energy. This is about the mind. This is um, calming the tormented uh, mind and the soul and walking away from a situation because we need some healing and we need um, to rebuild something. Six of Swords and the Moon. For some of you, might be Pisces involved. Uh, for some of you, this is... Um, Right? Um, overwhelming emotions, shadows, the dark side of things. This is the soul's journey and uh, we need to walk away from this because it has been harsh and dark and cold and scary. That's the moon, right? Out in the dark, out in the shadows, out in the woods. So, Aquarius, let's see, baby. Bottom of the deck, two of pentacles, find balance and the hierophant, commitment, for some of you, after a period of uh, feeling helpless and hopeless, we find balance in a commitment, we find, we find balance with somebody. Um, this is the energy of finally keeping things up and running. Um, this is about doing the work, maybe the extra effort for this commitment. Um, you know, because we've been a little bit um, disappointed, Eight of Swords in our mind about obsessed about blindfolded about not seeing the full picture and now it's like well let me find balance let me finally do the work that i need to do right so aquarius past energy is on your side the person you are dealing with and mutual energies let's have the current energies on your side the person you are dealing with and mutual energies and let's have the possible outcome on your side the person you are dealing with and mutual energies bottom of the deck again the five of swords and the wisdom right that came with it five of swords the hermit um, and the world wisdom and endings after a conflict period challenges so let's see so in the past Aquarius, you do have the strength card, uh, Leo energy, and you do have the tower. Uh, but this is about being courageous through a tower moment. Um, we had you helpless and hopeless in the past. Probably a commitment went all over the place or had to be rebuilt. Um, this is your life actually going down in pieces and yet standing strong and yet um, being able to compose with the explosion, right? That's the strength. Um, this is, yes, that was a mess. And um, the world, you know, they broke you in uh, one million pieces and one, and yet strength in kindness, right? Being able to be kind towards this person, to understand, to be on your best behavior, to not give in to um, revenge and, um, you know, um, disappointing low vibe energies. Um, mastering the disaster right that's exactly how it feels and it's such a powerful energy because the more life hits um hard you know um you find that you found in the past the strength um to answer right uh in balance uh, the force uh, the universe hit you with right um and it it's and because, right, the, the tower, 
it's never against you. It's always, um, it's the wake up call is to show you something. It's because we were not aware of the signs because we were not available to see the signs. Um, for some of you, actually, what came out of the tower moment was this uh, strength and control and power. And uh, no matter what I know, right? The third eye, right? Starting to see more, the spirituality coming out of it and the awakening. Now, this person of yours, uh, we have them in the past in the energy of Five of Swords, right? Conflict, defeat, win or lose. Um, might have been an ego situation where they had to win. There was no place for losing. And we also have them uh, patient and waiting. Maybe they, um, this, is, this is the energy of um, throwing a bomb and waiting to see what happens, right? This is them throwing in a, a kind of conflict and then waiting to have reactions. Um, but you have Major Arcana on your side, right? So this is taking the higher road and this is co composing um, while well, this person needed like small reactions, right? This is how it feels, this energy of um, small reactions of I'm gonna be patient as long as it serves me, but I'm gonna take advantage, Five of Swords. I'm gonna win this, right? There is no place for losing. Now, mutual energies between you and this person, uh, Nine of Pentacles, Nine of Cups. I believe both of you, you wanted to come out of this commitment. Uh, we have the wish fulfillment, Nine of Cups, but what you wished for was the independence with the Nine of Pentacles, and they wished that they had the same wish. Becoming independent and uh, probably having this peace of mind because it, the connection became a little bit Eight of Swords, confined, limited, obstacles, blindfolded, bound to each other in a way uh, where we, um, it's this energy of um, unable to breathe, right? Because we see all over the place why this connection will not work. And I, I believe Aquarius, it didn't, it didn't, and it was a big hit for you. And um, at the end of the day, it was like, okay, thank God is over, right? That's the energy. Nine of Cups, Nine of Pentacles. Thank God I'm, I'm in one piece by the end of the disruption. Thank God I'm, I'm alive, you know, and, and I'm Nine of Pentacles. I'm financially independent. I'm in good health. I take care of myself, you know. I, um, I answer to my needs, you know. And um, of course, it's mutual energy, so... They might have felt the same. It was harsh on you, harsh on them. It was an awakening for you. It was harsh on them, okay? So where are we right now? Of course, we still love the bastard. We do have the Ace of Cups here and we have the Five of Pentacles. We feel a little bit alone, abandoned, rejected. We look back at the past, that's the Five of Pentacles and we might want back um, probably with a different kind of love because Ace of Cups is the beginning of love. It is a new beginning. And of course, for some of you, this is absolutely um, being open to a new beginning um, with somebody else, with a new person, a new offer. Um, but it kind of tells me, Aquarius, that we are not out of the woods just yet, right? We are not just yet. Um, still, still by ourselves, a little bit out in the, in the forest, but we do carry the lamp and the light, right? So we know better now. The light in, uh, in tarot is all about knowledge and awakening. So that is something we know better. That is something that we master. We are no longer alone. We have the inner light, right? So it's beautiful. And again, some of you, you might be ready for love. Some of you, we might still love this person, but we love uh, we love her or him in a different way from a wiser uh, perspective. Now, this person of yours, Aquarius, we have them with the Nine of Swords energy and the moon, right? We have them scared and stressed. Uh, we have them in their mind. We have them concerned. We have them looking at you. Uh, we have them in the darkest fears and can be a Pisces or this is simply the universe saying they are in their dark night of the soul. Um, it is a lot of pain in this and it is a lot of mind energy and th there is a lot of shadows also surrounding them. And um, 
actually not seeing the light because they still need to go through the valley of death right uh, the shadows of the valley of death so this is um, um, I would say painful energy it's interesting there are a lot of swords so probably they are a lot in their own mind and probably a lot of fears are created by their own mind uh, in such a way that it um, um, it does hurt them in so many ways, right? And keep them in depression and anxiety because that's a moon actually. Depression, anxiety, shadows, darkness, um, and, um, and unable to move, right? Paralyzed and headaches and, and helpless and hopeless. This energy of feeling helpless and hopeless. Let's see mutual energies between the two of you. We do have the High Priestess, both of you awakening, listening to your intuition, they do, you do. This is also the energy of keeping tabs on each other, you on them, them on you, and we do have them with the Six of Wands, that is a little bit of pride. It is um, believe and succeed, um, can be for some of you actually wanting, observing it, and at the same time wanting to be better, you know, I'm gonna do better than them, I'm gonna... I'm gonna show them, um, you know, that I, I do better and I'm, um, I'm all right and I'm actually, um, you know, more ahead than they are. There is a lot of pride in this and there is a lot of observing and watching. Maybe listening to each other or, um, you know, depending on what's to be listened to or watched. But we know High Priestess, she's um, silent, but she knows, she watches, she observes, um, she keeps tabs and um, gather information, gathers information, so, um, yeah, yeah, I believe, I'm, I'm sensing, I'm sensing, um, that they might be afraid to lose you, Aquarius, that is, there are shadows and fears of losing you, and in the same time watching you because they don't want to, and, um, a desire and a longing for, um, success with you, right, and coming together, I'm not sure they are ready, but um, that is this energy of I want to succeed if I have to, um, you know, go to battles uh, for Aquarius, I, I want to be successful. And you feel somehow the same. Now, now we know Aquarius, right? Energy is moving forward. We do have the Two of Swords and the Four of Cups. We need to see that this um, was a missed opportunity, right? Um, but it's more than that. It's actually um, kind of the universe showing you you are blindfolded and you don't see that you need to let them go, right? Four of Cups is turning your back um, on something and with the Two of Swords is refusing to see that, you know, opportunity beacons elsewhere and this is just one of the Cups that we have to let go. Now this person, they want to reach out uh, to you uh, with the energy of partnership and building together uh, a form of relationship and we do have them in the leap of faith energy they want to start new and they want to reach out that was a trust issue probably that's why the scare and the fear and now they want to trust and uh, reach out or they want to reach out because they trust uh, that this can work or they trust you more and mutual energies between the two of you, you do have the sun, might be Leo you are dealing with, you have twice the energy of Leo. We do have the sun and we do have the hermit. Energies of awakening and energies of lessons and wisdom. You know better, they know better. You were awakened in the process, they were awakened in the process. You learned your lesson and you have such a beautiful energy, I believe right now Aquarius you are on such a beautiful path of learning and shining a light and uh, discovering, you know, when you look at this deck, it's um, actually the energy of discovery and the energies of, yeah, now it is the moon and I only have a small lamp, but you know, uh, if I'm courageous enough and if I go through this, um, I'm going to see the, the sun rising tomorrow morning, right? that's energy and now we do have the hermit the energies of lessons the energies of the light within for you and with the sun are you kidding me this is awakening this is awareness truth illumination happiness happiness 
And this combination of energies is happiness from within because the hermit is the internal world, the intuitive world, uh, the knowing, the experience. And um, it is shining from within and it is the awakening from within and it is the truth from within, right? It's a revelation, the hermit. It's a journey going towards a revelation of who uh, we are and who we deeply are, right? Um, as a human being, as a soul, as a, um, a, as a part of spirit, right? And then we have, again, with the sun, part of spirit again and part of, um, of um, the big picture of, of a just universe, right? Um, it is safe to say that you are both awakened um, now, Aquarius. It is safe to say, but boy, it was a disruption and um you had to rebuild your whole world right that's the tower in in the past you had to rebuild you had to courageously um rebuild uh, bit by bit your whole world and and put the pieces back again i don't think it's done even the universe is saying no we might be feeling alone at times uh, and then we have cups of love and we are ready to love again and and um you know be abundant in love but then we have we still have a journey of um taking the blindfold off and and bringing the light to a situation to this one um yeah they want to reach out they want a leap of faith aquarius i'm not seeing it now you see it as i do the whole energy right i'm not um I'm not seeing reconciliation because probably both of you, you still have a bit of a, a bit of a bit of a journey to do you by yourself and them by themselves. Um, but that is for them a desire, right? And it's interesting. We have seek shine, right? Which is seek enlightenment, seek the truth, seek the happiness. I believe both of you, you want happiness and you want to, you know, you want to finally see the light at the end of the tunnel. They want to start new. Um, you have a little bit, you, you have a little bit of uh, thinking to do over here. Now let's see the guidance. Let's see what we need to do about this. I am not seeing energies of love, two of cups, three of cups, six of cups, any of it, right? So some food for thought and that's all right. Awakening is a very intimate uh, process, right? So. so we do have romance. Oh my God, you are guided towards them. Lavish the one you love with personal attention and affection. So I don't know, you are guided to love this person. Um, but again, you'll have to use your better judgment because I don't know exactly um, what your tower moment was. So you really have to use your better judgment on this one. Love is all around you. That is love everywhere all the time. Simply acknowledge this as truth. So maybe this is why the Ace of Cups, you are ready for love, right? You start to look around, open your eyes and have a new love experience here love is all around you but you have to believe it um and aquarius bottom of the deck you are limitless you can do anything you choose baby okay you are limitless you can do anything you choose so romance love is all around you you are limitless yes you all see i don't think you are guided towards this person actually the more we see, it's like, um, how about you start looking around a bit? That is romance. That is love. There are opportunities of love and you are limitless. Okay. So let's see the guardian angels. Let's see. We, we, we're going to, sometimes we get um, advice for two people, uh, two different paths, but we'll see with this one. We do have the six of swords walking away peaceful times so aquarius peaceful times are on the horizon the storms have passed well amen right we had the tower in the past so yeah thank you right and now you can see that your destination is within sight the stress in your life will begin to fade away allowing for happier times 
it may be necessary to take a journey over water or to another country. And we do have the Eight of Wands, the card of passion. And Aquarius, there is so much going on right now that it may feel overwhelming to you. And yet it's wonderful to be so busy with the work that you love. Express gratitude for the blessings of heaven that are taking up your time, even if life feels challenging. If you're asked to travel and take a flight, then do so with confidence. Um, I don't know, being passionate again, walking away, peaceful times, and be open to passion and new beginnings. And we do have, and look at that, um, Aquarius. I am so going to take it because we do have letting go, which is the death card. And we do have the tower again, out with the old, in with the new. And we do have the Hierophant. And we do have the Eight of Cups. Walking away, baby, walking away. You have Six of Swords and now you have Eight of Cups. Another energy of walking away, right? So, you feel a deep longing for something meaningful in your life. In your heart, you know that there is more out there waiting for you in the world. It may be time to switch careers, move to a new home or city, or initiate other important changes. Do what's right for you and seek out your magical new life. I am going to name this video Magical New Life because you are so called Aquarius to start something new here. And I'm sure you still love this person and you probably are disappointed and you might feel alone. But you have two energies saying, baby, we walk away from whatever destroyed us and turned our life into pieces. We move away and we become passionate and we stay open to love. And commitment is coming, but you have again one, two, you have four energies of the universe asking you to walk away from whatever destroyed you. Letting go, right? So releasing the past can seem like a challenge, but it can also be liberating. Your angels will help you to let go so that you can fly higher than ever before. Endings always herald new beginnings. Choose to allow this situation to lead you to a more joyful life. Change your life by changing your thoughts. I mean, um, it's kind of like the universe bubbling and saying, is it the word, right? When I repeat and say the same thing, well, you got the same thing four times. And as a word of encouragement, right? We have, you are limitless. You can do anything you choose. Um, in case you are feeling a little bit insecure, no, just go on. And we have out with the old, in with the new. We are done, done, done with disruption, disrespect, abandonment, helpless and hopeless, right? Working, you doing all the work in a connection that was um, not working. We are done caring for people that don't care for us, right? Who don't care for us. So we do have out with the old, in with the new. So... Heaven is showing you a sign that it's time to move in a new direction. Often this is because you're not happy and feel a lack of purpose in your life. This is a wake-up call to make changes that match your heart's desires and spiritual truth. And you do have the commitment heart, uh, the commitment energy and you have it twice. So some of you, it's a marriage we need to let go of. It is a commitment, probably a solid one, one that involved children, you had children with. Um, this person and you have letting go and the death and the tower and the hierophant so that is a message I'm going to read it to you and it says embrace those around you this is a time of great spiritual growth for you making it even more important to surround yourself with those who love you and share your beliefs be willing to accept help from others you could find comfort in traditional solutions or your heart may long to try out new ideas. Well, Aquarius, well, baby, we leave this person with their anxieties and their new beginnings, and we keep going. A magical new life. Seek out your magical new life. That is a magical new life waiting for you. Um, Aquarius. So, baby... This is all that I have for you guys. I wish you nothing but the best. I wanted to stay strong and safe, please, for me.
As always, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and come see me next time. Love you. Take care.